Did you know that the World War II paratrooper uniforms worn by soldiers on D-Day had a secret pocket? I mean, I guess it's not that secret, but if you didn't know it was there, you'd probably never see it. The pocket is actually right here at the top. You can see there's a double zipper here. If you unzip this one, there's a knife in there. Now this isn't the actual knife that would be carried in there, this is a lineman's knife, but that pocket was designed to hold an M2 switchblade. So why did paratroopers need to have a switchblade in the collar of their jump jacket? Well, when they were designing these uniforms, they thought that paratroopers had a risk of being entangled in the risers of their parachute, or maybe getting stuck in a tree or on a building and having to cut themselves down. So they put this pocket in a place that wouldn't be covered up by your gear or your parachute, and it has a zipper on both sides. This was so if one of your arms was tangled up or if you broke an arm in the jump, you could still access it from either side. And because it was a switchblade knife, you only needed one hand to open it up and then cut yourself down if you were stuck or just cut the ropes that were tangled around you. And for a similar reason, a lot of soldiers had ropes like this hanging off of their equipment when they jumped. This is what's often called a letdown rope, and soldiers would put this on their equipment in case they did get stuck in a tree or somewhere high up before they hit the ground. They could use this to rappel down from the tree after they use their switchblade to cut themselves loose. It's pretty cool that they thought of that, if you ask me, and they worked that into the design of the uniform, but it didn't end up sticking around, and in the next version of jump uniforms, that pocket was removed. 